So in a very confusing move, the Disc Golf Pro Tour actually restores the FBO division to the future events. They came out just a moment ago with an announcement saying that they are starting a new series called the United Series, which will basically be reinstating the five previously cancelled FBO events, the Legendstone Open, Great Lakes Open, American Flying Discs Open, Discmania Open and the MVP Open. And the United Series will allow transgender women who meet one of the C1, C2 or C3 criteria to participate in the event, which means that players such as Natalie Ryan will be allowed to play. Same thing goes for the Disc Golf World Championships, they will also only require you to meet one of the three criteria, however they are also stating that future events that do not have the United Series designation, which is basically the rest of the Pro Tour events, will still require that transgender women meet the C3 criteria, which is the criteria that you need to have transitioned prior to puberty, which means that players such as Natalie Ryan will not be allowed to participate. The United Series events will award points both for the United Series and the Disc Golf Pro Tour, which is a little bit confusing, but I guess it's to give the players who play all of the events a chance to collect points throughout both of the series competitions. They have quotes in the article from players such as Kristen Tatar, Paige Pierce and Ella Hansen supporting this decision saying that they all sat and had long meetings with the Disc Golf Pro Tour to figure out a solution where they can still play basically, and that this solution is not a 100% win for any side really, considering that some of the events will allow transgender athletes to play and some of them will not. All in all, this is just very confusing and it feels like maybe they should have sat down and talked to the actual players before they pulled the plug on these events a while back and now they instead have to back up and change that decision. But I mean, overall, I'm just happy that the events take place at all, as I think it's now Never gonna be the correct solution to just straight out cancel them but the fact that they had to back down on their eligibility criteria is obviously not good either anyways i'm sure we're gonna get a lot more educated explanations on this very soon as the whole situation with the multiple tours the criteria lawsuits and such can be very confusing anyways if you are enjoying the disc golf updates consider hitting that subscribe button below to stay up to date with all things disc golf